Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the controls in Apex Legends Mobile. So something they snuck in from soft launch to global launch was a change to the interface and they didn't put this in the patch notes. So today I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know between interface one and interface two. And hopefully you'll be able to figure out which one works best for you. Let's get started with interface number one. This is the one that I like to call the more basic or classic interface and it's what we had in soft launch. And then I'll go on to interface two, which is a little bit more advanced and more streamlined for Apex Mobile. And this is the one that's new that you're gonna wanna pay attention to. So let's start with number one. So first I've gone ahead and made all the buttons be really easy to see. I normally play with these much more transparent, but I want you guys to be able to see everything that I'm doing and to understand the differences here. So I went and just made them really, really opaque. Now I play with a four finger claw HUD. So in the classic basic uh, interface here, similar to PUBG Mobile, each weapon is its own thing. I can move these all over the screen, have them be separate as far apart as I'd like and I can switch between the two. As well as switching firing modes, that's right above. Obviously with the hemlock, you can see switching between burst and single fire. If we switch over to the controls and we go into the more advanced interface, now the weapons are actually combined. And I just, all I have to do is tap this in the bottom right and it switches the weapons. If I wanna put my weapon away though, I tap this little arrow. So for running faster and whatnot, tap the little arrow next to the weapon swap. And if I pull it out, uh, I have to tap the gun. So for me, I like having my weapons down in the bottom right. It's just easy for me to tap one time. I don't have to tap either gun. I just tap once to swap or I can switch the firing mode with my thumb. Very, very easy. You also have this fist here that I would highly recommend you guys enable. One of the interfaces has it automatically enabled. One of them has it automatically hidden. So I would recommend you turn this on. It's an instant melee. Even if you have your weapon drawn, instant melee and he pulls the gun back out. You don't need to pull your weapon out. So you can do the flying kick super easily. Honestly, getting that last punch sometimes to knock someone is very crucial. So I would highly recommend you enable that. And I've got my punching right next to my firing button. Now, why did I put my guns in the bottom right? It's because I was actually able to move my throwables and my meds out of that bottom right section. So if we go back to the basic interface, you'll notice that, like I said, it's a little more clunky here. We have to open this up, tap what we want or, or to swap. And then we have to, you know, tap to use it. There's some settings that you can kind of speed that process up. But overall, this whole tab system, I don't really like it. And it's one of the reasons I wanted to switch to the advanced settings. Now, similar to PUBG Mobile, if you guys are also coming from PUBG Mobile, let's check out the advanced interface number two. Now you'll see I've got them on the left, which is where I like to have them in PUBG Mobile. There's a wheel now where we can switch to anything we want super quickly. No more tapping to open the tab, tapping the thing we want tapping it again to use it or whatever, you know, it's like, it seems like a lot of work just to switch from, you know, like a Thermite over to an Arc Star or something like that. But on here, you can just flick around super easy up to the left, you know, down. Um, and same with meds. We can switch med kit, Phoenix kit, and get a shield kit. You know, we can just swap around really, really quickly. And this whole tab system over on the left, it was a lot of space. It took up now. I just have these two little circles. I can flick around super easily. And that again, freed up the bottom right to now put my weapons. I found myself hardly ever using the throwables and I know that's something I need to work on and it was because having to tap them and open all these tabs and stuff, I just didn't really pick them up all that often and it was a lot harder to use and incorporate into my combat. Now, I can just switch to it, boom, throw, we're good to go. Super, super fast, right? Last but not least, we have a few changes that are a bit more cosmetic, but based on kind of how you have things laid out and where things are in the screen, this might be really helpful for you. So if you go back to the basic layout, you can see that our teammates information is really big and we can see kind of everything, their name, their health bar, their their shield, and it's, it's pretty big, right? If we go over to the advanced mode, you'll notice that it's a little bit smaller, a little more streamlined, right? It's more vertical, they're kind of stacked here and it, it's a little more compact, so it doesn't take up as much screen space, right? If you're a more advanced player, you don't need to see that massive bar. All you need to kind of see is how are your teammates doing? I can see, you know, teammate one has a purple shield. Teammate two has a blue shield. I can just, I can call that out. Hey, I got a purple shield here for you. Come get it. Um, I can see their health. Are they knocked or not? Whatever, you know, it's a little bit smaller. Don't really need all that information taking up that uh, that space on the screen. That's one of the big differences. And another one is personal preference, but you'll notice that uh, the kind of the chat and all that stuff has been compiled into this little list up here. So if I open this, it's everything. Now we can activate our speaker. We've got the quick chat messages like match reservations, the history of chat, and we can see who's watching us. It's all five of these put into one thing and it drops downward. So wherever you like to put it, if it comes down, that might be best for your layout. If we go back into the controls and we do interface one, you will notice that it's now 
the speakers broken out the mic is here and then the chat opens out to the side so if that's better for you having it open out to the side might work and again they kind of put in the chat history the match reservations and the spectators in there as well but it's only four tabs this time and the speaker is actually broken out into its own button so a little bit of a difference but it's nice to have options right if you were always annoyed that like the chat opened outward to the side now you can have it open downward and you can actually save a button we all know that mobile games have a lot of buttons sometimes too many buttons and maybe the speaker button didn't need to be out on its own so now it's all folded up into there and i personally love this hut overall i just love the apex gives us some customization so I will leave it there with you guys. I hope this video helped. This was a big change, like I said, that did not make it into the patch notes, but hopefully this let you know everything you need to know. So I hope you guys will like the video, subscribe, and let me know below if you want more Apex content. But that's all I have for you today, so I will see you guys next time.